I'm here. I just got done watching Fluttershy's dream with Discord. Well then, I can see how you still got a good relationship with him. I can't complain about that. So, what's my next video gonna be, Twilight? Actually, it's three videos, because it's Little Shy time. We are gonna react to everything wrong with Spike at your service. Keep calm and flutter on. I'm just for sidekicks. Hey, I realized something. It's us seven. Just like we first started watching the series. Um, oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Wow, we are doing this! I gotta be honest, I hate the first one because this episode is about me insisting on fulfilling the Noble Dragon Code by repaying Applejack with excessive help because it was supposed to be a rarity and spike episode. I don't know they decided to change it with me, but yeah, can't argue on that one. Let's see what Little Shy has to say about this episode here. I'm gonna start the video, so let's go! Everything wrong with Spike at your service in three minutes or less! Spike is irritatingly oblivious. Oh wow, Twilight we are starting off with that good one there! Big Mac's sparkly cutie mark. Smell my dirty feet. Well, isn't this episode off to a pleasant start? Theme, disappearing apple sack. Not to be confused with a disappearing sacked apple. I know the difference. Fun fact, season three is half the length of a normal season because 3D Timberwolves used up the animation budget. Bonus fun fact, that's probably not true. Predator has the opportunity to kill prey, but doesn't because waiting for a last minute rescue is more important. You saved my life! Applejack's actions are to blame for all of the following Spike episodes. For what? Balloon can carry a pony with ease unless that pony happens to have their hooves on the ground. You saved my life! That's what friends do for each other. They In Equestria, friends save each other's lives regularly. Okay. Not a perfect Not world necessary. after all. Apple this shading. Left leg should be layered above body. Because where else would the eggs be kept? Hmm, probably for safety. Twilight saved Spike on multiple occasions. Why does Applejack take priority? Load-bearing support above a doorway. Huge door or tiny interior? I think Recycled. the door is huge! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These curtains are on the exterior. This pie becomes full again. Oh, what I wouldn't give to have some pony forever in my debt. Sure, make the white pony a slavery sympathizer. Jack saved Spike's life and now he has to serve her forever. Rainbow Danger Dash does he said my full name? a life-threatening situation. Sentient Table leaps out of frame. Wash your laundry, clean your room, help you with your unfinished novel. Since Spike is the only one who can write, he's probably already helping with the novel. Also, ponies apparently write fanfiction about themselves. <laughs> that one was good. Name. Spike breaks everything, including the kitchen sink. This oddball animation glitch. Awesome! And nothing of value was lost. Book Horse OCD is a superpower able to detect misaligned ink wells. This is Dragon Code we're talking about. Surely you know how important the Dragon Code is to a dragon. Silly Applejack. Even fillies know the importance of this thing never I'm always mentioned. a silly pony. This I sure am. isn't even close to being attached to the barn. The parallax effect is all messed up during this shot, producing floating doors. Cartoon Cartoon Pony. Cartoonception! 4,567,837 blades of grass at Sweet Apple Acres. If that's true, Sweet Apple Acres isn't even a tiny fraction of an acre in size. If you thought Spike episodes treated Spike poorly, look what they can do to the strongest of the main six. Asphyxiation followed by death. You know, for kids. No, it's not. That awkward moment when you go for a handshake, but they don't have hands. Yeah, you all have has hooks. more books than what she started with. One credit just wasn't enough for you, was it, Mark? Well, if you can't credit someone else, just credit yourself twice. Shoot, Spack. Uh, not as in shooting me with a gun, Spack. Glad we got that out of the way. Theme. Okay, every pony, line up for the uninformed newcomer exposition. It gets out of hand. Twilight's you mean knowledge of human <gasps> anatomy is getting out of hoof. And I've cast a spell so Discord can't take them and hide them again. How very convenient. Shame you didn't think of it last time. Celestia accounts for all of the element bearers except for a certain honest orange apple horse. 
Celestia has no rear end. I wonder where her rear end has gone to. I, wish I actually gives a flying feather about language. I like that reference to putting your hoof Only down there. Only 23 episodes late. Sky doesn't meet horizon. See you later, suckers. I'll be watching the chaos unfold from the safety of my mountaintop castle. Celestia's little gnome third wing. Right arm tattoo, left arm tattoo. Background doesn't reach top of frame. This eye glitch. Fluttershy can hover without using her wings. Fluttershy is clearly not staring. One beaver isn't taken over by Discord. It's just a jerk. Localized earthquake moves these three trees. Watch that goat-legged step of yours, pal. Twilight? Oops. Hook Didn't mean to say that. Makes you wonder what equestrian quotation marks look like. Eat any good books lately? First Celestia, and now Fluttershy leave Discord unsupervised needlessly. Obligatory Wilhelm sin. <laughs> Angel did the Wilhelm scream! Like giving him a little space to be himself. Fluttershy is the parent of every retail worker's worst nightmare. Rarity left some false eyelashes at home. Twilight's tail attaches to her hip. Because that's what friends do. Discord just got friend zoned. Does that mean he's available for Celestia? Oh, hi, KP! Don't you know how rude it is to frantically yell in distress? Fluttershy forgets about her ability to communicate with animals, therefore granting us a charming scene of charades. Flooding at Sweet Apple Acres! And we all know who's behind that now, don't we? Who? Surely not the beavers who did that just a little while ago, right? Nah, of all it's the not the beavers from a little while ago. Of of chaos could do, Discord floods a farm. Such language! Such language! Such recycled language! You already said that! Recycled uh, just drone. Duh. Oh, oh yeah, animation I did that too. Just Discord. Ah. You decide. Probably Lesson an animation time. error. Lens flare. Friendship is magic. Roll credits. Good job, Due Discord. To a contract requiring the introduction of a new toy in each episode. Gravy Boat is a top billing character. <laughs> no joke. This episode was partially written by a 15-year-old Brony, thus creating an oxymoronic instance of canon fanfiction. And here I started to wonder why this episode didn't do well. Well, there's my answer. Something fishy. You know what else is adorable? You ponies. Aw, oh, shucks. This Thanks, Discord. This in the scene. Why? That screen reminds me of my no screen from a dog and pony show. With Owlicious randomly gains and loses a bow tie throughout the episode. Who jokes? Almost as funny as the first hundred times. I had a bowl full of them here. This is not a bowl. Convenient gem glitter persists just long enough to make a point. This offensive face should be censored immediately. <laughs> Ponyville train station appears just outside the library. Come to think of it, the scenery outside the library changes quite often, and the library itself is bigger on the inside. Twilight confirm for Time Lord. Oh wow, Measuring I did it before Starlight. You will see this face in your nightmares. That's a funny Ash face I made here. Tails without opening her mouth. This lackadaisical copy paste job. Element of generosity, everyone. I don't remember seeing critters on the invite list. Passive aggressive much? You sure you don't already have your hands full? It's more likely that Spike's claws are commonly referred to as hands, but this narrator is more keen on calling this a sin because of the many other sins depending on it. Sin politics, everyone. <laughs> absolutely sure you can do this? It's not like it's the first time. These cartoon physics. The natural weaves in its fluff are to die for! Dead pony. <sighs> Boy, that escalated quickly. Scootaloo phases up through the floor. How are we gonna pull off this whole skydiving thing? If only one of us could fly. Definitely not Scootaloo, sadly. Toys! They need toys! Scootaloo is an expert on all things toy related, being one herself and all. Ponyville Market teleports to the depths of Sweet Apple Acres. What have you done to the turtle? Tortoise. Whatever. How do you think we paid for the industrial sized pet hair dryer? Must have been worth quite a lot considering it was invisible a few moments ago. Not so subtle episode callback. Oh, it is. Jumbo a callback to Hearts and Hopes Day? To the ground. Animals fighting and need to be separated? Why not tie them together in a ball? Granny Smith accepts a bribe. After all, the Apple family is well known for their lack of integrity. Spike's telescopic bunny vision. Spike doesn't think to simply not bring the pets on a train. 
A particularly violent Sweetie Belle stomps a small bird to death. Or Invisible maybe she caboose. killed it with cuteness. Rarity disappears. Hey, where did I go? Frankenstein has no interest in saying hello. At least not until Twilight gains her power and wealth. Mirror Twilight is surprised by this reflection mismatch. Spike monologues inches from the main six and no pony hears him. Or sees him for that matter. Train car disappears shortly after arrival. Fluttershy and Dash only took the train because their wings vanished. Unlike Apple Bloom. What? You did That's not fair! Taking care of the animals. She said, before arriving at home to witness the damage, all three of the CMC credits contain a typo. I guess you could say that the credits made a grave mistake. Boo! I don't know from what this is from. That is from Katamari Damashi Rarity, but anyways, that's the end of this video.